In this video, I'm going to mount heated bed, remove MKS Gen 1.4 board, and figure out how to mount it to a 2040 rail. After a long uh, hiatus, I want to resume working on this printer, even some dust uh, collected here. This is what I have remaining from the old 3D printer. I guess I'll try and put these caps on first before I deal with anything else. There we go here. And here. Oh, that was a bit of a hard hit. But I'm not going to concentrate on this too much. Let's just get thing, this thing working and once I got everything working I can get all of the spare parts. So there's my 10 millimeter bolt. I'm going to start with like threading the bolt through. Then just I'll get something like a screwdriver bit to hold the knot while I'm threading the bolt. Okay, I think it got caught now. Now I'm gonna do the same thing from the other side. It's a little bit harder to get to um, this hole because there is smooth rod on the way. So I'll, yeah. Oh, it's still, it's not that hard. So I'm gonna thread the bolt a little bit and I'll take the knot, slide the knot in. It's a little bit tight so I will need a screwdriver but it's actually not nearly as difficult as I was afraid it's going to be. Then sliding in the knot. Oh yeah, this looks pretty bad. I'm not gonna tighten this just yet. Now thread the bolt from the other side. Slide in the knot, hold it with a drill bit. didn't work as, as much as I liked, as well as I liked. I think it just, the bolt didn't go in straight. Now it does. Now I'm just tightening it from the, all of the sides. So yeah, we have this. This is totally cracked and I'm, I'm, I'm going to reprint this bit and uh, install it off camera. This is not important enough right now. So what I'm going to do next is try and get the remainder of my 3D printer and get the cables out. Need to disconnect the hotbed and attempt to install it here then. I need snips. I have this creative way of Keeping the, the wire in the same spot, which, which I'm going to remove now. This kind of that's 
seems to work for work for a while. So uh, not a biggie. Just uh, I'm re removing the heater heater probe, and then I need to unscrew. This is MKS Gen 1.4. Now I need to uh, find a small screwdriver and unscrew the wiring for bed heater. Wiring for heated bed. <laughs> okay, there we go. It should take, come off. And yeah, the, the old printer goes back under the table. Now I need to figure out how what I'm going to do with the bed here. So I don't need this, but I do need this. So uh, this is hardware from the uh, things I have previously installed. And I think uh, what, I, what I've been doing is I used springs and screws uh, to, to hold bed like this. But the thing is, uh, I needed a lot of clearance here because um, I did. I had a lot of bolts sticking out, w way more than they are sticking out right now. So uh, I don't have this problem anymore. So I can use a much uh, shorter screws for this. I used to use. This 25 millimeter screws, which I think I can go with something that is way smaller now. Maybe uh, I'm going to uh, pick these, which is 18 millimeter, uh, because they're stainless steel ones. And I want to see how that's going to work. So um, the way I'm going to set this up is. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a little bit tough, so the, the, the screw is going to go like here. I'm going to have a bunch of washers and a, um, uh, and a knot, and maybe even two knots at the bottom. Um, I know this is not the most uh, efficient way of building this, but uh, I want something that is relatively easy and straightforward. Uh, because I, I have a feeling I'm gonna spend uh, quite a bit of time adjusting this bed after everything is said and done. So I'm going to use M3 washer to put under the between hot heated bed and the screw and M4 washer to put between um, the uh, heated bed on the other side and the spring. So I'm going to do it like this. See how this is going to work. Oh. No, this is not going to work. So yeah, the spring is way too long. So um, that's not going to work. So I will need to, I need to figure out this. So my old system is not going to work and I don't have any um, springs that are shorter than uh, this. I can go back to um, using longer sc um, screws, which uh, worked before, but um, then again, I'm, I'm just um, losing a lot of room in uh, Z axis. I can also uh, hold this thing like this, but it's going to be I will need way more knots for this. So I can hold bolts like this, but this is not very, um, I wish I could have, like, um, I know there is a lot of criticism uh, about using spring, that everything is kind of wobbly wobbly uh, when um, everything is assembled, but the big uh, advantage of springs is that uh, it's very um, easy to set up. So um, any solution, solution that does not use a spring is, well, not as good. So uh, let me try something else. If, if I'm not going to use springs, then maybe I can even use even shorter screws than 
18 millimeters. Let me try 10 mil and see how that's gonna go. So um, I'll just put a washer and a not here. Let's see how far this is. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna use all this to see. Um, yeah, it's probably, th this is way too short. I, 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 I'm already seeing that this thing, the knot doesn't have enough length to, so yeah, 10 mil is out. This is just, it's not gonna work. I have 12, uh, I'm gonna try 16. Uh, I have a feeling that I might be able to save a couple of millimeters of z height. So this is my uh, 16, uh, 16 millimeter uh, bolt. Let me try and use, use it. So this might be a little bit rigid system, but it needs way more maintenance. So I'm really hoping that um, I can get it right relatively quickly. Let's see, uh, I will also need a couple of millimeters uh, for the uh, for the plate at the bottom. And yeah, this seems to be Working, there's a few millimeters there that have enough of a bolt underneath. Tightening it there is going to be the most annoying part. Since I've proven uh, this is working, I'm going to add this kind of mounting on every corner. And then um, I'm going to put uh, washers on each corner of the uh, carriage so it would be relatively easy to put washers in between. I think uh, I, I might want to try put washers uh, from the bottom up but that's going to be kind of difficult and um, really annoying so I'm not sure if uh, it is worth it. So yeah I'm just putting washers everywhere so um, this thing uh, going to be going back and forth a lot so uh, it's going to vib vibrate and if there's no washers it's just going to vib vibrate itself out of alignment so maybe I'll also here washers spread out the pressure off from the bolt so yeah I'm just putting a washer on a bolt pushing it through the mount hole in the bed then finding another washer okay now the last bolt I think there is Still a little bit of cream left in the the scan, so I um, guess we'll get some lubrication as well as not being able to pull out all of the washers. Okay, got some. Okay. I'm gonna take this knot out. I'm gonna get something that I can tighten this thing, maybe like a quarter turn. That seems to be like a right tool for the job. Oh. Or maybe a bit more than a quarter turn until there is some resistance.
So, yeah, I need to hold the bit here. Rotate the bolt. Hold the bit here. Rotate the hold the bolt, rotate the knot. far as it goes. I think uh, I eventually will need to find a better solution than whatever this is, but right now I'm just gonna leave it like that. Just going to get a zip tie and I'm gonna hold it like this and see if, I, um, if I'm able to I did not, not the same length, so I'm hoping this will help me uh, um, install uh, the knots roughly at the same distance. There we go. Now if it's if they're going to hold, but list I'm going to try. And the last one. So, okay. I installed this. Now, um, the next somewhat important step, just get all the washers and um, line them with the holes in the carriage. I'm reusing all the washers. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Just I'm gonna throw them away anyway, eventually, so. I want to see, so maybe I, yeah, I don't have a good argument, I'm just kind of reusing them because it's slightly easier than just go for the ones farther away. I'm not an engineer, sorry. Uh, Okay, got everything installed, I think. Yeah, I see that um, this is not even, not particularly, it's not even particularly close because this side is uh, way, uh, the, the thread is way shorter than on the other side, so I'm just gonna adjust it by eye. <laughs> I have, I don't have really other choice. Yeah, so I uh, will do that. Then I'll take the knots and just screw them in without a washer. I think there is about like third of a thread that is holding it. Oh boy, this is not, yeah, that's why I don't like this system, it's just not comfortable at all to use. So maybe let me try from this side. 
Okay, maybe I'm going to try and move this thing on its side. Now it's in since I'm doing this anyway. Okay, yeah, definitely. I don't. So instead of doing things badly, I'm going to try and do things less badly and use more washers. So let's move this thing on the side. Maybe even lower this, like, oh. I don't think my belt is tensioned properly. I will need to fix that. Oh, there is not a lot of meat in there. Especially with the washer. Okay. I think I, I think I need to do that on each side first before I try before I try and tighten it. So yeah. things a bit. Yeah, it looks like that. I may, I will have to use. This is like, this is not a lot of meat there. That There's not a lot of thread. Yeah. I mean, it's holding right now and I have no idea how aligned this thing is. Probably not very. But I'm just gonna leave this for now. So, uh, I, I think I did something. Oh, and there's wires that's getting strained, which is not good. So we have this kind of moving around a bit and I should probably keep this thing aligned so it doesn't get out of alignment. So yeah, we have this. So now another big issue, which uh, I to demonstrate with the old shell of a, um, the printer. I have some cooling here which I got by uh, finding something on uh, some model on Thingiverse and modifying it for my purposes but uh, that doesn't it's kind of pain because once I install this thing and then <laughs> use grub screws to screw into this wooden frame uh, yeah the, the that doesn't go out anyway, any, uh, anywhere. So the problem here is once this is in, I can't really access any of the um, circuitry. So this, uh, before I can take that out, I need to get rid of the fans. And I have a couple of ideas on how I can install this thing in a uh, better upgrade to make it slightly less painful. I think I'm going to try that in the subsequent videos. So I'm just gonna try and attempt to remove the fans. Yeah, grub screws. This is, that was a very hacky thing that I did. And yeah, I have a feeling that 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 that's kind of the um, the okay. Let me disconnect this. So I have like a small daughter board that just um, it provides um, 24 volts. So this is my um, this is my 24 volt fan, and it's uh, this is its original connector. And kind, I kind of put so, some stuff together um, so I can I, I can connect uh, fans everywhere. Uh, I don't think that was a like real solution that uh, really worked. I think I just um, 
overpowered the motors and there were overheating and once I got a um, nice uh, uh, nicer uh, voltmeter I was able to just uh, fix the driver volt VRFs uh, on a different printer and this is not really a problem I, I do like having um, fans for the boards, especially uh, since I'm going to use this thing in... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Didn't need to really unscrew it. This, this is a gunner. Well, I guess I can reprint something if I'm not going to use this bit. So what I have is uh, two bolts going through the frame uh, and knots on the other end which kind of um, difficult to access so um, I think I may need to modify this whole thing a little bit because the way it's working is not great I have this board which uh, on uh, this kind of frame that's uh, 12 volts going to daughter board here. Uh, so uh, what I'm thinking of doing this, maybe I can even keep this thing, but I do need to make some changes. First of all, the way I um, place this thing is a bit unfortunate because the uh, knots holding the uh, everything here is over here and if I'm going to use T-knots the one way of doing anything with this assembly is taking the board out and then unscrewing this thing so I don't want that. Let's look at the back. I didn't have foresight and I didn't put any of the T-knots here so effectively I can't use this rail uh, the, the inner rail because it's blocked by this plate here, but I can use the outer rail. So um, I can do something like this and I can still attach uh, uh, this board, maybe even like as is to this rail. I will need to get a T, uh, M3 T knot, which I can probably use a regular knot and 3D print the thing that's going to go uh, inside the extrusion. Uh, however, yeah, I still have a problem here when I can't really access the, um, the mounting thing here easily. So um, I have a choice. I can either take off the board, do mounting, but every time I need to move or something that doesn't um, uh, quite work will get in the way and um, it's going to be a pain. Also I need to kind of flip um, so, uh, also I had the board facing in, which I don't like because all of the heat from the heated bed is just going to go to the board and I don't like that. So I think I, I would rather have it facing out. Then the problem here is this, the motor. So yeah, that, that, there are several considerations. So if I put it like here, but the motor would interfere and I will probably not gonna have um, enough clearance, but I'm not gonna have power supply mounted at this thing at all. I'm, I'm gonna put this thing inside of the heated chamber. So this side is empty, so I can definitely put this thing here and it sort of doesn't even cha really change anything. The only, uh, yeah, and, and the motor is not nowhere close, so I'd, uh, I'm definitely putting this thing in here. But I want to have, I think I'm going to redesign this carriage so it will mount on really this rail. So I'm going to have a couple of bumps that go into this rail. The actual mount is going to be here and maybe I will design something that um, 
um, that will let me attach uh, a fan there and maybe I will even um, on the back I will have some provisions to mount this uh, standard 5 by 7 centimeter uh, pinout so uh, maybe even two so um, I can do my experiments with the pinouts and daughter boards and things like that